Hey there guys, how you doing? I want to go ahead and do some behind the scenes for how I made a uh, couch potato. So my original plan for this month's film was to um, try to do something that where I could mimic the l look of when I dream. And I don't know about you, but in my dreams, it, like the, the sky is never blue. It's always just black, it's dark. Like there's a, a, a vignette around <laughs> my vision and things have a very, desaturated look the, the colors are never I've never dream in vivid colors it's all it's not black and white but it's just kind of desaturated and so I, I I wanted to try something different artistically and see if I could replicate that of course I kind of needed to have a story to go along with it and originally I was thinking maybe something just narrated talking about my dreams and what it looks like and try to be all philosophical and artsy and I could never come up with anything that was any good <laughs> and so as I've kind of you know, left that on the back burner did other projects let things kind of simmer in the back of my mind um, I was trying to think of you know what kind of things could I do and I started to have these these images of just shots what, what kind of shots I could do in my head and so I started to draw them out on this whiteboard that I picked up it's like originally it was a picture of uh, the phone just laying on the table and then you know, me laying on the couch and looking at my phone and looking out the window and maybe seeing seeing the tree and then maybe just like a you know, close-up of me on the couch. So I had you know these images in my mind but I just couldn't really figure out a way to put them together in a story. Uh, I had a vague idea of maybe doing something with you know social media addiction or you know just not having that you know, trying to make that choice, but I couldn't figure, I still couldn't figure out a way to really stitch things, to really put things together. And, you know, of course the kids have been seeing my whiteboard here, asking what it was, kind of tried to explain it to them. And, and Bubbles, looking at the pictures, you know, like laying on the couch, she said, why don't you call it, you call it couch potatoes. And at first it was like, haha, yeah, that's sure, sure kid. But, I, but then it kind of like, well, wait a minute. And then kind of that light bulb went off, and it's like, wait, wait, couch potatoes, and and then just the idea of the phone becoming a potato, and you know, still going with that, you know, spending time on social media, parable, you know, quality time, <laughs> parable approach. That's what was the missing piece, and that, then everything just kind of fell into place of it being a dream and showing my, my scribbles of the order of putting, how I would put these shots together. Another thing I wanted to do different with this was I wanted to do a, a silent film. You know, I really let the visuals carry it more than dialogue. Because I haven't really done that. Most of my stuff is always very talky. So I, I wanted to try something different. And of course, the way my brain works, it, it wouldn't be complete without a semi-surreal <laughs> twist there uh, with the with the potatoes existential scream. <laughs> so to pull off the different looks, I use this camera, the Zoom Q8, for the dream sequence. It's a very wide angle lens. Um, it's a 160 degree wide angle lens here. Let me let me zoom this out all the way. It just has a digital a digital zoom in stages. Now, you, as you can see, it's very uh, <laughs> very wide. And normally for the vlogs, I, I keep it zoomed in just to keep it, you know, a little more, a little closer, a little more personal. Plus, it helps eliminate some of the fisheye effect that happens around the edges. The other thing is this camera only shoots at 30 frames per second. Standard movie cinema is 24 frames. Um, so what I ended up doing was filming the dream part with this camera and then just used that 30 frames per second and just converted the footage to 24 and that made it slow motion. And it's really more of a, a subtle slow motion approach. Um, and but I think it I think it works. Now you really notice it in the original camera audio. You can hear <laughs> just what tw 30 frames slowed down to 24 frames. Um, what that sounds like. Yeah. Ah, mouth yeah. fell off. Now his mouth fell off. Mm -hmm. Ah, mouth now, fell off. Now his mouth fell off. 
And then for, you know, when I wake up and it's more in standard movie mode, I used our Canon T2i, our <laughs> good old standby. This is actually the same camera we shot in his steps with. And it's the one I've been using for pretty much all of my videos. So yeah, so for the last half, I used the more standard cinematic <laughs> approach, better lighting. Um, that was the other thing I did with the dream sequence. I made sure to light it a lot flatter and uh, purposefully just very, to, to help with the dream look, um, which I mostly was achieved through color correction in, in the edit. And then I did, you know, a little bit better, more, slightly more cinematic lighting for the awake part. <laughs> and I was able to shoot it and edit it all in one day, thankfully because of how short it was and how few shots there were, which I think is probably a record for me. I don't know if I've done that with anything else, but shooting and editing the same day. So yeah, there you go. Short film, short behind the scenes. <laughs> uh, let me know what you thought of the movie and my approach to this. Comments, of course, are always appreciated. And if you have stumbled upon this video and you're not subscribed already, go ahead and please subscribe. I'd appreciate that. I try to do weekly vlogs, a combination of just stuff on my mind, geeky you know, thoughts about shows I watch, but also behind the scenes stuff like this. And of course, if you also want to support me on Patreon, I have a link for that, patreon.com slash Zach Lawrence. Links are in the description below to all my social media stuff as well. Um, so I'm doing one short film every month for the year of 2020, and we're so far so good staying on track. <laughs> so regardless of what you want to do here at the end, I do appreciate you watching. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.